your viewpoint on the likely touchdown? Were you watching on the big screen? Did you think it was a, a touchdown? Yeah, absolutely. I thought it was a touchdown, and um, that's what they called on the field, and I didn't think it was enough evidence to uh, overturn it, but I feel like that'll be something that the refs will have to deal with uh, whenever that time comes, and that's out of my control. Rob um, you know, obviously a couple of mistakes as John referred to, but how, how'd you kind of feel taking the field against one of the league's best and Patrick Mahomes and, and how do you guys think you made out uh, overall? Yeah, it felt great uh, heading into the game, but obviously uh, there was a lot of mistakes out there uh, and that's not what we pride ourselves on. And I think that starts with me uh, communicating each and every detail throughout uh, to the guys and making sure we're all on the same page. And if we're all on the same page, we're a tough defense to move the ball on. But a lot of the things that happened was self-inflicted, but hats off to those guys. They uh, made us pay for it, and hey, it's a game of inches. Real quick, was it just first game stuff, stuff that you kind of just have to work your way through, or was it crowd noise? What, what, do you, what was the kind of the impetus behind some of the communication issues? Yeah, I don't think it's the first game things at all. And I, I think it's just more so each and every individual uh, holding themselves to a higher standard. And I think that starts with me leading the guys and making sure the communication is up to par and then echoing it throughout and doing that throughout the game regardless of the circumstances. There's no excuses whatsoever. And, you know, hats off to those guys. They won the game, but we'll definitely see them again. Real point, what do you, as a team, do you feel? I mean, you nearly came back and, and tied this game. What, as a team, what are you taking from, from, from this game? All the great things and then all the negative things just building off building off of those. You know, have to look ourselves in the mirror, each and every individual. There's a lot of plays personally out there today that I, I wish I could get back. Uh, I didn't feel like I played my best game. And I think, you know, when I play my best game, I feel like that echoes out throughout the defense. So I think it just starts with myself personally. And I have to be better in order for us to be uh, better as a defense. And when we do that, we'll be great. But, you know, hats off to those guys and we're looking forward to next week. Uh, It'll be a great uh, opportunity to bounce back. Roquan, you keep saying it starts with you. Why is it that you're putting that responsibility on yourself? I'm the leader of the defense, and there's countless other leaders out there as well. But I look myself in the mirror, and I hold myself to the highest of high standards. And at the end of the day, I get the call in from the D.C., and I echo the call out to the guys, and I have to make sure we're all on the same page. So that's what it is, and it'll, it'll be that way. So it is what it is, but, you know, you just take things and build off of it. But what did you guys do in the second half? In the first half, they clearly were hit kind of middle of the field. In the second half, you guys seem to deny that. Yeah, I think it was just uh, some adjustments. Uh, hats off the uh, Zio for that. Uh, making adjustments at halftime, uh, knowing where they was hitting us at. And a couple plays like myself personally, when three uh, ran the option right on me, I think number four ran the option right on me. Uh, so got to be all over that. Um, and yeah, that's what it is. Probably the BS horse collar, but it is what it is. Rick, what was your perception of that play along the Chiefs sideline? Oh, he, he flopped. Uh, yeah, he flopped. Uh, that's why the referees didn't call. That was a great call by the, a great no call by the ref. But uh, whoever 88 is, I don't know who he is. But you better watch him. Watch himself. Did, did he was grab there, you? Was, was he, there he, some, did a, he did a little slick push. Was there somebody on the sideline that pushed you as well? Yeah, uh, whoever number 88 is, I have okay. no idea who he is. Okay. But I'll see him when I see him. And Roquan, one of the other leaders on the team, so obviously Lamar. What did you feel about his effort tonight? Uh, it was a great effort by Lamar. Uh, personally, as a defense, we should have never put him, put him in that position, uh, being, being able to come back from like that. But it was hats off to him. It's the reason he's a two-time MVP. But as a defense, we should have never put those guys in a position. So it starts with us as a defense and eliminating explosive plays, eliminating countless mistakes that we had, and then giving the offense uh, many opportunities to do what they do. And we'll do that the rest of the way. So this is the worst we'll play all season. So I can promise you that. All right, thanks for all.